Good morning, students. Today is the first class of class eight computer. So today we are going to learn about C plus plus. So today's topic is C plus plus. You have already learned about C plus plus earlier in your class seven. So today we are going to learn about the operators used in C plus plus. So today's topic is operators used in C plus plus. Operators in C++. So in C++ how many operators do we use? In C++ we basically use three kinds of operators. So first one is sorry. First one is binary operators. Second one is binary operators third one is ternary operators so firstly we will discuss about the binary uh, unary operators so so how many unary operators are there unary operators are further classified into three categories first one that is Unary increment operator, unary increment operator that is denoted with the plus plus symbol. Second one, unary decrement operator that is denoted with the minus minus symbol, and last one is the logical not operator. Logical not operator. This is in a denoted using the exclamatory mark. Fine. So now we are going to discuss about the unary increment and unary decrement operator. Uh, the method of using the both the operators are same, but uh, the purpose of use is a bit different. So let's see. So so let's declare a variable. Suppose int uh, a equals to ten. Now we are incrementing the value of a that is a equals a plus plus the plus plus symbol this plus plus symbol or the plus plus operator is the unary increment operator so the unary increment operator increases the value of the variable or the operand by one only so the value of a is 10 after this statement the value of a should be 11 so then if we print it like c out the result is a if we print it the output what should be the output the output should be the result is 11 this will be the output okay so similarly, in case of unary decrement operator, the plus plus symbol, this plus plus symbol, instead of this plus plus symbol, here we will write a minus minus semicolon to denote the end of the statement. Similarly, if we print the C out, the result is a. So easily you can say the value of a will be, be decreased. Like here, using the plus plus symbol, the value increased. Here it will be decreased so in this case the output in this case the output will be the result is the result is the output will be 9 okay fine so we can see that the plus plus and the minus minus operator these are the unary increment and the unary decrement operator these increases and decreases the value of an operand or you may say the value of a variable by 1 increases by 1 decreases by 1 one more thing these two operate operators works only on single variable like here you can see if there is a single variable work a here also a single variable a so it works on a single variable okay now so now we are going to discuss about the logical not operator so what does the not means not means the value given in a variable 
the, if the vari if the operator is used in front of the variable or the operand or the statement the value will be reversed like if it is true it will become false if it is false it will become true so let's take an example suppose int x is a variable and the value is 15 okay so now we are testing the value like see out the result so if we use here x equals to equals to 15 so you can say the value of x is 15 and here the statement we are using x equals to equals to 15 that means here the value of x is 15 and here also 15 so the statement is matching means this statement shows that the value of x is 15 this correct statement so the output of this statement will be like the result 1 why 1 because in computer true means 1 and false means 0 so if we use the not operator here if we use the not operator here the value will be reversed too. so in case of 1 it will become 0 if the statement is correct then the value will be 0 because the not operator is used not operator reverses the value so you can easily say that if we change this value to 10 so the value actual value of x is 15 the condition is given x equals to 10 so the condition says this is false this is false so actually it should return actually it should return 0 because of this but not symbol is used that's why the output will be 1 now we are going to discuss about the various binary operators Bin as unary operators unary means 1 so it was working on single variable binary by means 2 so it will work on 2 variables so binary operators how many binary operators are there there are basically 3 types of binary, binary operators so first one is arithmetic operator arithmetic operators so which what are the arithmetic operators used in C++ there are basically five arithmetic operators that is you know this is plus this is minus this is multiplication this is integer division and this is modulo division these are two these two are different we have already used it let's revise it integer division integer division is used to find the quotient in case of a division and the Modulo division is used to find the remainder in a division. Suppose two values are there, a equals to suppose 10 and b equals to 3. So if we do integer division, a divide b. So in case of the quotient is 3, so using this symbol, using this operator, we can get the quotient. And if we use a modulo b, then we will get the result 1 because if we divide 10 by 3 the quotient will be 3 and the remainder will be 1 okay next relational operators relational operators relational operators how many relational operators are there six relational operators are there that is greater than less than greater than equals to less than equals to equals to and not equals to you know this is greater than less than greater than equals to less than equals to you know all about this equals to it is different from this symbol this is known as the assignment operator this is the assignment operator and this is the equals to operator in C++ and this is not equals to we will use it later in the program ok next is relational operators now the logical operators logical operators how many logical operators are there three logical operators are there they are and or not you have used already in class 7 you will use it again in class 8 okay now let's move to a third kind of operator that is ternary operator 
So unary one op unary operator working on a single operand, binary operator in two operand, now the ternary operator in three operand. So ternary operator, how to use it? Actually, ternary operator is an alternative of the conditional statement. It is an alternative of conditional statements. So, how to use it? What is the syntax? How to use it? So, for that, the syntax is condition then a question mark, then true value, colon, false value. So this is our syntax. So this is how we have to use it. Condition, question mark, true value, false value. Let's take an example, then we can easily understand how to use it and how can we perform it. So suppose we are again declaring a variable int a equals to uh, let's take it 20 okay now see out now we are putting the condition the condition is if a is greater than 20 question mark then the true value if this condition is true we are giving a condition that will be given as output that this bracket is not required here so it will be 2 more than 20 if this statement becomes false then colon the false statement we have to give that is less than 20 and the semicolon to end of the statement so if this statements are executed what will be the output you can easily say the condition is a greater than 20 so we know the value of a the value of a is 20 so according to this if a is greater than 20 this will be the output if it is not greater than 20 it will be the output so in this case the a is not greater than 20 so the false statement should be executed so the output will be less than 20 if instead of 20 the value is 30 so in that case this statement this portion will be executed the output will be more than 20 instead of these three operators unary binary and ternary operators there is one more kind of operator which is actually the combination so what are um, uh, what is the name the name is arithmetic assignment operator arithmetic assignment operator so arithmetic assignment operator as the name refers it is a combination of arithmetic operator and the assignment operator i think you remember that the arithmetic operators are plus minus multiplication integer division modulo division these are the five arithmetic operators and the assignment operator was this so actually arithmetic uh, assignment operators there are also five type of arithmetic assignment operator and all five are the combination of this five and this so easily we can say these are plus equals to minus equals to multiply equals to div integer division equals to modulo division equals to so what is the purpose of using this how can we use it so what is the meaning of this actually if we write suppose the value of a variable is int uh, a equals to 5 so if we write a plus equals to 2 this refers this means that a equals to a plus 2 so actually this is the the short form of this statement is this a plus equals to 2 is equals to a equals to a plus 2 similarly instead of plus if we use minus so here also it will be minus if we use here multiplication here also will become the multiplication if we use here 
integer division it will become the integer division here if we use the modulo division here it will become the modulo division here understand